All right, so here's the second video on finding the area between curves. Uh, so we have find the area of the region bounded by the graphs of f of x equals 2 minus x squared and g of x equal x. All right, so just like in the first video, let's sketch a graph. All right, so Let's take a look at this one. This is f of x equals 2 minus x squared. We know this is the graph of a parabola and it opens downward. Its vertex we know is at 0, 2. Okay. And the graph is going to look something like this. Okay. We know it's going to intersect somewhere between negative 1 and negative 2 and 1 and 2. Okay. Hey, this, is, this is 1, that's 2, that's negative 1 and that's negative 2 because if we set this equal to 0 we get x equal plus or minus square root of 2 so our x and y intercepts will be plus or minus square root of 2 so that would probably be a little bit closer to negative 1 and 1 than what I have drawn but it's good enough for what we're doing alright so now let's graph this uh, g of x equals x well we know it goes to the origin 0 0 and then I can use rise over run to get my next point and so it's going to look something like this. Okay. And the area I'm looking for is right here. Okay. Now, I have to get my limits of integration. Okay. So it, it looks like it intersects here. And I know I have the point 1, 1. It may intersect at 1, 1. I don't know. I'll have to. We'll have to figure that out, but this is where it looks like it intersects at, at 1, so, but let's, let's test it out and see. So how do we find these points where they intersect? Because these will, these will be our limits of integration here. All right, so all we do is we just take the two functions and set them equal to each other. So I have 2 minus x squared equals x. And then I'm just going to solve for x. So I'm going to move all this over here. So that's going to give me x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. And then we can factor that. That's x plus 2, x minus 1. So x equal negative 2 or x equal 1. So it looks like they intersect here at negative 2. So they intersect here and they intersect at x equal 1. So my limits of integration will be uh, negative 2 and 1. Okay. Now, to find the area, I'm going to integrate from negative 2 to 1. Okay. And remember, it's the function on top minus the function on bottom. And so that's going to be the function on top is 2 minus x squared minus the function on bottom, which is g of x equal x. So that's x. And I'm going to integrate with respect to x. All right, so before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this in descending powers. Okay. All right. I mean, that's, it's not something that you have to do, but uh, it's just nice to have it written like this. All right, so now let's let's integrate. So I'm going to get negative one third x cubed minus one half x squared plus 2x and I'm going to integrate that from negative 2 to 1. Okay. All right, so now let's just plug these in. You should know how to do this. So that's going to be negative 1 third times 1 cubed minus 1 half times 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus Okay. And then we plug the negative 2 in. Negative 1 third times negative 2 cubed minus 1 half times negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 2. And it's important, you know, re remember that when you're doing this and you're 
doing minus and you're plugging this in that you put this whole thing in parentheses because it is minus the whole thing. And then after we evaluate all this, that's going to give me an answer of 9 over 2. All right, so hopefully this video helped. Uh, I'm going to post some more, some different problems. I uh, hope you'll check those out. All right, thanks.